currently what we see are institutions creating their own competencies and their own assessments. But I think that's part of the challenge as we get ready to scale CBE to be more impactful nationally. You know, existing systems in the enterprise, whether they be your student information system or your financial aid system or even a learning management system or the different tools learning management system, are not really set up, you know, to uh, to gracefully, easily, seamlessly pass competencies around and allow the, the, the teacher or the student or the institution to kind of craft more of a competency-based kind of uh, program versus the kind of normal just sort of course-based program that we have today. You have tons of different course names that may be teaching the same thing, but they don't have any sort of sense of equivalency. So you lose the potential of having a really strong currency in higher education. And if we have thousands of competencies that maybe mean the same thing, we could undermine the potential of how powerful these kinds of competencies could be. And so we've actually been working, uh, piloting, with about uh, 10 or so uh, suppliers under the guidance of CBEN, uh, us, th they providing the requirements, to see if we can sort of understand what those interoperability requirements are. Um, there was a paper just recently published in, in EDUCAUSE about competency-based education that was authored by uh, our program manager, Mark Luba, who's actually running that. And it's, it's really got a pretty nice blow-by-blow blow in terms of where, where we are with that. Being able to truly demonstrate that the students that are in these CBE programs are leaving better prepared um, graduates, more proficient graduates, I think that's the key. So fundamentally, the, the motivator here for institutions for this change is to continue to differentiate themselves and their strengths and the strengths that the students who attend um, uh, are, are uh, demonstrating. So we're kind of counting on the fact that the institutions themselves will say, hey, this is actually good for us because it will help us differentiate our program. When a student gets a transcript, it really is that kind of black box of learning for both the student and for the employer. The employer has no idea what the series of lists means in terms of their potential as uh, a potential job candidate. So at least with competency-based transcripts, employers have much more of an understanding and there's, it's more legible in terms of what the student can do with the knowledge that they have. I think employers and HR professionals should be in the streets celebrating at institutions that have CBE programs because they've not been satisfied with what's happening in higher education. Instead of being so vocal about their dissatisfaction with the preparedness of job candidates, they actually now have the uh, ability to help mold and create pipelines of potential candidates into the jobs that maybe um, to this day have just remained unfilled because there is not the, the, the way of sort of matching students into those roles. So it's exciting, it's an exciting time where employers actually uh, can really be acknowledged as those final consumers of the graduates in training. Now, for that to work, it has to get good on both sides, right? On both sides of that equation have to get better at asking for what they need and also for demonstrating what the student learns. And so far, we've been talking really about the, you know, the college or in the institutional side of that. And I don't think it's going to be any easier, to be honest, uh, for the corporations. You know, they're going to have to put quite a bit of work into, if they want better employees, they're going to have to do a better job specifying really what they want. CBE is also one of those messages we ought to be saying to employers over and over again. It's our way to customize degrees to meet the workforce challenges that you're meeting. So we can take competencies of various degrees and stack them and stack them together in new ways so that we address where workforce shortages are. Mm -hmm.